How do you know what to pray for? And also, do you pray for others? Do we pray for others? Yes. Should we pray for others? Yes. Um, when we pray, I know when I pray, you thank the Lord for the day, uh, for making it through another day. Uh, you thank for your family, just the gift of life, just to, you know, be here amongst the living. Okay. What's going on in your life? Lord, I need strength on the job. I need strength when I'm dealing. I need even strength at church when I'm dealing with some of the church members. Father, I mean, it's so many different things that you're going through in your life that you can pray about. Okay. I need to be better. Lord, help me out. Father, with my health, with the dieting, yes, Cain and the Canaanites, uh, yes, those are some of the things that you say you can take control over. Yes, you can take control of how you eat, but when you want more strength, you can pray about it, okay? And then when I'm praying for others, you come to me uh talking about different things it might be an issue hey we we can pray about it i'm gonna say a prayer for you okay and i know people in the congregation you have done this you have listened to maybe that coworker came to you and was saying oh man you know my kids they're gonna have to have this surgery they just found this out all okay. right I know you pray and everything. You don't mind saying a prayer uh, for me and my family. No problem. No problem. We pray for others as we should. And then at the end of all of this, thy will be done. Because you don't know what's going to happen. Even though I prayed for you, Cain, and I have family, congregation, even though you're Canaanite, uh, it's always thy will be done. Whatever God's will, may it be done. That's it. Well, well this, this is the thing I have, okay? You said God's will be done, right? Yes, yes. You ended with that, right? Yes. I think you should begin with that. Yes. I think you should begin with God's will be done. No matter, because how do you know what to pray for for other people? Other than what they've, they may say to you, they may say, can you pray for this? Can you pray on this? Can you do this yeah. or whatever? But you don't know God's purpose for that person. Right. Maybe that person needs to go through what they need to go through mm. to be able to come back mm. to the Lord and, hey. get, and be in his presence. Right. Maybe, maybe that's what they need to go through. But who are you to dictate what needs to happen? You're asking God to do something for this particular person. Yes. Because they either one asked for it or you saw the need for it. But who are you? Are you God? That's no. no. All right, then. No. So, so my thing is don't even worry about, you know, praying for that person, praying for a strength, praying for whatever. How about you just let God lead you? I know I've said this in the past. Yes, you a have. A lot of times, a lot of times, people just don't let um, God lead you. They just don't. They just, hey, I, I'm going to pray on this, and we're going to keep praying. I'm going to pray for this uh, particular man in my life. I'm going to pray for this Woo! particular woman in life. Yeah. That happens, right? And you're asking for things, and you may even receive it. Mm. But it's not how you how you were thinking about it. You know what I mean? Like you can be thinking about a certain type of man or a certain type of woman to come into your life. And then you get that, those particular attributes that you said, mm -hmm. but <laughs> you find out that that's not really what I need. <laughs> yeah. Right? You, you yeah, pray yeah. The Lord, oh, Hey Lord, so, take them away. Take them no, away. So, 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 Hey, Hey, you asked for it. You got it. Yeah. God gave you exactly what you asked for. Mm. So you don't even know what's right for you. Come on. The only person that knows what's right for you is God. It's God, yeah. So how can you dictate 
who needs prayer, what they need pray, prayer for, and things of that nature. Con congregation, help us out here. Yes. Mitch says, Mitch says he uh -oh, can dictate. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hold up. I don't like how you did that. Hey, y'all better listen to those words now. I didn't no. say you could dictate Mitch, now. Mitch, Mitch, Mitch says if a person comes to them or whatever and asks for prayer, he'll give them prayer for whatever that may be because they think that that's what they need. They need the strength of the Lord. But if you stay still Ooh. and be still and, and be guided by the Lord, then you ain't got to worry about anybody else praying for you because you already, you're, um, what do they say? How y'all say it? Uh, um, you're one with the Lord. You know, yeah, yeah we, we're all in one. You know, God is within yeah. us. So if God is within us, then why I need you to do anything no, with no. me? Okay. Hey, Kane, that was good. That was good. And man, I tell you what, you, you what? sounded like a good... <laughs> what? Hey, I don't know. We might put you on a deacon board. It might be corrupt, oh, y'all. Get out of here. Get yeah, but no, here. no, no. But <laughs> I, I, I like everything you said pretty much. But um, what? you don't heard these sayings, and we go with a lot of sayings. Man, somebody prayed for me. I know it's a song, you know. But sometimes we get by, and I do believe this the prayers of the mothers and the fathers praying for those kids. Praying for our kids. I know I had praying parents, you know, that helped me out, when, especially when I was out there, you know, cutting up and doing whatever. Yes, we pray for others. I, I just believe that. And I do believe in what you said, too. And it is hard sometimes. Congregation, you got to know this, to be still, especially when you are like me. You want to run and go do something. You want to run and go do something. Sometimes, man, that's the hardest thing. You got to be still. And you hear? Well, how do you, how do you know your purpose? How do you know your purpose if you're always running and gunning? Because you were setting the uh, uh, precedence of where you need to go. If you're doing this all the time, that, you're just saying, I need to be over here. I need to be over there. I need to pray for this. I need to do that. I need to do you're being God and being led by yourself and not by God. That's why I will say this, Cain, and I, I still pray that prayer. Lord, help me, Lord, as I want to know your purpose for me. Even at my age right now, the purpose, the, the pathway that you have for me. Because I, I feel as though right now, I'm not on that pathway. So I want to be led by you, not by anybody else. Because people can come into your life, we say for seasons, man, you should be doing this. Man, you got this quality that's so good. Lady, you should be doing this. Father, Thy will be done. All and right. then you if, do if it. If that's the case, then why? So how do you know if you're praying? How do you not how do you not know if you are praying to Satan? How do you not know that? Well, because that Satan is not mentioned in the prayer. You ain't gotta uh, say it. Yes. Because yeah. remember, I I well, I thought, I thought mm -hmm. God has a voiceless voice. He speaks to you in your heart versus in your head. But if you're speaking to God, is he really listening? Or is Satan listening and portraying himself as God? That's a good question, Cain. A, a, a question, I, I would just say this in the aspect of what you're talking about. And we done said this before. When we do pray, when we can wait, not pick whatever we're praying about up and try to do it ourselves, it will be revealed. It will be so if confirmed. God, so if God reveals, then yes. what are you asking for? There's nothing yep. to ask for if he's going to reveal everything that you need. Yes, you still pray, Cain, and you still what are, what are ask. We about? Whatever what are we the situation about? may be, whatever you think you need prayer for. See, see that's what that's, I'm saying. You're dictating what you need. God knows what you need. You don't know what you need. Uh, he Do you know what you more. need, Mitch? He he knows more about what we need. But do you than know what, what you need say. for you? For you, I, I, I mean, we, we can I, take yes, I do. I do. Of, yes, 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 yes. How do you know yes, what you yes. need? I, need you know what you I, need? I, I can tell you this right here. How you I know? need to wait on the Lord. 
so he can reveal the pathway for me and my If you life. already know yes. what to do, yes, is to wait. Well, yes. then wait. There's yeah. no prayer about that. Oh, well, I'm still going to pray, Kay. Now you're saying, you are you wait? saying, oh, you look, 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 sir, are you saying to me, and when I say sir to you, we are being strictly <laughs> serious. Go sir, ahead, ahead. are Just... you saying to me that we don't need to pray about anything? Because that's what it sounds think, like, I don't think, I don't think we need to pray about anything. I think we need to um, be led by what God has for you. Because you don't know what God has for you. And y'all can correct me in the comments. I, y'all I can eat me up in the comments. Yeah. Or whatever. And, and I understand you disagree. Okay, you think that we need to dictate where our life goes. But I don't think that I don't think that I need to pray for any specific materialistic uh, heart failure, cancer. I don't think I need to pray for none of those things because God already has a, it's already been written. If it's already been right. written, then why do I why am I praying against his will? Why am I trying to do something that we don't? I don't even know if that's against it or with it. I don't okay. know his. I don't. I just don't know. So if I don't know, how about I just sit still and let him guide me? How about that? How about I just do that versus sit here and try to dictate wh where it goes? Yes, and I'm 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 really on that word dictate when I'm having just. Well, that's what a I, prayer is. Look, look, look. First of all, I don't like. Well, I just don't like that word right there. Dictate to God. Okay, I have a conversation. That's all prayer is, a conversation. That's it. And then, so, so the yes, you ask and you thank. Ask and you thank. You don't have to always ask, but you can be thankful. That's all I'm I talking about. I thank you for this. You be, I thank you, you for say, this. I, there's nothing wrong with asking. Well, not even yeah, asking, not. but just thanking. There's nothing wrong yes, with that. I never yes. once said that. Yes, but yes. that's not how prayers go. We're asking for certain Not things. all the time. Not all the time. You don't have to. And that's one of the things right there. What you just said. Look, we got to. We have to be able to. Be thankful unto the Lord. When we going through. Man, they just said I'm going to have to have a knee replacement or I have uh, some type of disease. Lord, I yep. still thank you for my life. I still thank you because it could have been. Thank, I'm thank give, you for I'm give, through that. Yes. I'm how do you give not you know? Thanks. Yes, come on. How do you not know that this is a way to slow you down? Woo! Slow you down and how you can not, be a how, testimony how do you know? to somebody you're, else. You're trying to dictate everything. You're doing everything. And this knee surgery is going to slow that down. Because mm. I want you to go through that. God wants you to go through that. How do you not know that versus no, you don't. help me out because I'm going through this knee surgery. I don't know how it's going to come out on the other side. Well, this is what God wants for you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, can because you're, you're, you're not, you're not being in the present. You're always in the future or the past. You're now, you're not being the present with me. Yes. But see what you just said, you know, he's slowing right. you down. You can thank him for whatever you're going through, but you mm -hmm. can still also pray about it too. Lord, I pray that you guide the doctor's hands as we do this surgery. I pray, Lord Jesus, if it's in thy will, that everything goes according to plan. And that's it. You Well, well, how about how about that. you just say God's will? Because yes. then that covers everything. Yes. You ain't being look, specific hey, about okay. this doctor. Hey, look, look. You ain't being specific about none of hey, that stuff. Look, you're, being, look. you're just saying let God's me ask you, will. sir. Let me ask you this. Yeah. <laughs> and congregation. Please be in the chat. In the today. comments, man. Let us yeah, know. Yes, I know please. We, we're kind of going yeah, back yeah. And, forth. and I'm, I'm yeah. having fun with, it, with this. Let us know. Um, have you not, when the first time you got on that plane, especially when you was young, you know, I don't know if it was the military or whatever, but you didn't say, Lord, help me out on this plane. You don't say a little quick prayer. You never did? Oh, yeah. I, I, plane, hey, I still no. to this day. Oh, yeah, when I get I on the plane. Oh, yeah. yeah. If if God the plane was supposed to go down and yeah, you're on it, it's going. There's nothing you can do about it. Yes. So that, I'm not yes. talking to God about what could or should or whatever happened. Well, that's you. Right? That's you. Yeah, that's you. I, that's I'm not you. Do it because if God says it's my time, it's, remember it's already 100%, written. If you talk yes. about this, is what the preachers talk about, right? They talk about is our your your story is already written. If yes, it's it written is. and it ends that particular day, who are you to say to uh to, for it to stop? For not to, for for it not to stop. Hey, Who let me are tell you? you something. Let me tell you something, sir. Who are you? you the, the prayers of the righteous. Come on, let's let's just and uh, we never know. 
Okay. That one prayer that you pray, he could have kept that play. Hey, from the it run rate to – Yes, yes. It could have – It could have. okay, you, you spoke to God or you spoke to Satan. You, and it's a possibility I don't like, that you yeah, spoke I to don't, Satan. I don't, come on. Yeah, that's your, it, that's it, your take it. on that. No, no. Let, let's say you did. And you thought you were talking to God, but you were talking to Satan, and he spared your life. Right? And nothing happened. You landed perfectly. But then other things happened on top of that. And now you're asking for uh, help with this situation. Now that I'm at my destination, this happened. And now that I'm at, now this is going on. Oh. So it's just a, a chain reaction, and you're just praying about things that you want to go well in your eyes. When if God says it's your time, it's your time. Oh, yes. If, if it's I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't, I'm not going to, um, Talk back and forth with God or have a conversation with God because it's it's my time. If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. And he, I, if the book is already written for me and the chapter ends today, it ends today. Who am I to say, hey, no, nah, man, uh-uh, uh, spare us, uh, uh, make sure that we land okay. And I, But if, it's, if it's, it's supposed to happen, if it's God's will, then why don't you let God handle you have done enough. You have done enough on this earth. Now he has a different, you know, something different for you up in heaven. Okay, that sounds good. But no, I'm just that, saying. That sounds don't you good. Think so? I, well, no, I, you, sounds, you disagree. That that sounds good, Kane. But even with what you just said, I'm for myself. I'm still going to continue to pray once I get on that plane, once I get on the road, traveling, grace and mercy. I know, cliche, all of these things that we hear. If I know that you're going to be flying to see me, I might say, oh, quick prayer. Yeah. You know, for you. And yeah. then covering the whole plane. That's all. Yeah. You know, you I, I, I don't want, I, hey, look, hey, don't you say you don't want me to no go prayer. down. Hey, hey look, it's time for me to go down. I don't need you to be talking to Satan to keep me up. Hey, hey. Hey, okay. hey. hey, okay. you, hey y'all. Hey, dude, I don't want to hey. have to deal with all, everything that happened because I did. <laughs> you wanted me to live. Hey, we're going we gonna to pray for him, y'all. We're we going to get him. We get, hey, but we all right. I agree you. What y'all think about this? Different views. Yeah, different Prayer. views. Prayer. Prayer. And, and some people pray for different things and pray to different entities or whatever. And uh, I'm not even saying about even that. I yeah. get all the different, you know, prayers for different religions and things of that nature. We're right. just saying prayer, period. Yeah. If we're just saying there's only one God and, and we everybody can agree that there's only one God, then do you pray to that God? Do you tell that God what you want to happen for another person or for yourself? Do you do that? And if you do, do you think that that is correct? Or, you know, with me, I'm like, hey, I like I like to have God to lead me. Yes. I like to be in the present. I don't like to be anywhere but right now. And if I'm here and right now, I can see. And if there's something that's that's uh, revealed to me, I'll be able to see it versus I'm running and gunning, trying to, you know, pray for everybody and do everything for everybody. Right. I'm curious about that. In the con in, in the comments, man, let us know. Us, uh, man. If y'all, if we got a, a pastor, a preacher, somebody, man, put it in the comments. Yeah. I want, I want to hear your, your you, take on it. Should you I wanna pray for it. others? I want to hear. It. Yes. Should you? Should you pray for others, and should you pray for yourself, or should you just sit back and be in the present and let God lead you to what needs to, what needs to happen for you? Because okay. if everybody does that, then I think everything that's supposed to happen to you will happen to you, and whoever you're trying to pray for. It's just uh what's up? Very intelligent young man, you are. <laughs> um, but you know. So, hey, hey, I you, understand we got we you, were taught that. I was taught the I same know, way. Yeah, yeah. But the way you taught, the way you way. you you say and think is when we're born and we grow up, mm -hmm. we don't have to ask God for forgiveness. Because we created in this image, he's already forgiven us. Yeah. You so, basically so, saying we don't have to do anything. God has already forgiven anything. us. Anything. Well, I we just have can't to still forgive our parents because they did the best they could. 
especially if you got any resentment in your heart. You got any resentment. That part is true. Anyone. Yeah, but I'm talking about yeah, your fellow man resentment. and everything. So we can yeah. just live out our days throughout the whole present. life. Being in the present, though. Not praying. And everybody doesn't do that. Everybody's not in the present. Everybody's right, in the past right, right. or in the future. They're all in their head. And that's where Satan gets you. Satan is in your head. That's why you these thoughts, they come, they go, whatever. You act on them, sometimes you don't. Right. That's all in your head. And but, that's what Satan does to you. God doesn't just be all in your head. There's no little voice speaking. But things are revealed. No, nah, like, I believe oh, Re revelation. So, so, yeah. so, so, so you think so you think that God speaks to you or who speaks to you? How, God is speaking. Look, look. God reveals to us. Okay, God okay. reveals Satan God speaks. Reveal, God reveals. So if you hear to us, something, but I'm not gonna go against go ahead. how one Christian says how they communicate with God. Okay, I, that's just not me. It's not me to judge any of that right there. Mm -hmm. But I just want to get back to this. So you believe you're born. We live we don't have to uh pray we don't have to you just said forgive the parents but we have to forgive others that wrong yeah. us yes. and we have in this life regardless of what you may think you are you're gonna wrong people too they have to forgive you it's and, not up to you to it's not up to you to change their perception of yes, you. But they you, have to and do then it too. you live out this whole life of yours uh -huh. and then you're good to go with God. That's your whole belief right there. Yeah. You don't have to repent of sins. Uh repent. Ask the Lord. Yeah, because you're gonna sins. sin in this life. You're gonna sin and you're gonna sin in this. Sin in this is life. me act so 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 I guess you would say repent would be me going and Asking for forgiveness because yes. of okay, I and I and I did that with my parents. Yes, Kane. Okay, so I did that with my parents. Okay. I asked for forgiveness and it was truly I, I faced them. I didn't go and try to just talk to them over the phone. I, I went because I may fear my parents, so I just go to them and tell them that no matter what the reaction may be. Maybe if it's harsh or they may feel like they, you know, I'm going to die if I hear this something. No, you, I, I did that. So once I do that, then now all I'm doing is being led by God and not by my thoughts. Because a lot of people get led by their thoughts and they think that I, this needs to happen. That. I can agree with that. Yeah, because I think you're just running not, and gunning and trying to, you know, not, save people and save yourself. Or whatever, when you can just, you know, uh, um, forgive those who you have a resent resentment for, even as a child, or whatever, when you had their resentment or whatever, and it's still in you, let that go. You let all yeah. that go. Now your heart is pure, and now you can receive what God has for you. Okay, that's well, what I say. You know. I mean, you ain't got to be I, dumped in water. Oh, you ain't gotta do all that. Dang, that's what. Yeah. You ain't got to do that. Get you ain't baptized, do that. Yeah. Okay, that's what Dude, you that, say. That's, that's, Look, 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 that, look, that's just an outward expression. Yes, that's yes. That's an outward expression. That's for everybody yes, else to see. Yes, yes, That's all that's yeah. for. Well, it's okay. not for your yeah, We just have some different you beliefs. You, yeah. My dog, yeah. yeah. But that's, yeah. Oh, so that's pretty much your, so we all just going to go to the kingdom of heaven, regardless of everything, because. No, we know because we, everybody doesn't follow this path, man. Everybody doesn't follow the path of not trying to dictate how their life goes and not letting God control their life. Nobody, everybody but you dictates stated, their own life. You done stated, sir, yeah. that the sins have already been forgiven. Yeah. He done took them on the cross, so we're good. Yeah. We don't have to do anything else but live. That's yeah, it. Well, well, if you got any resentment in your heart, you still have to forgive. All right. Well, okay. You still got to do that. Okay. And how do you get that resentment? That's because of whatever you had experiences with your mother and father or auntie, whoever raised you, whatever. You have that resentment or even a spouse or something. You may have that in you. 
just forgive for whatever. Okay. And well, then, you know, they, they, may, they may not accept it. Who cares? It's not up to them to accept it, but you have gotten that off of your heart. And, and I, I just want to say this, congregation and Cain, I just appreciate the conversation that we're having. <laughs> Whether yeah. you agree or not, yeah, yeah. People, we yeah. should always be able to be able to talk about anything and everything. For sure, for you sure. Know, and I can, and look, just, look, you know. I can be wrong. I can be wrong, and y'all can eat me up in the comments saying, hey, you need to pray about everything. Anything you think that's negative, you need to pray about it. But however, in my eyes, I'm thinking, even though it is negative, that's probably what God wants for you. Because he is not going to put you through anything that you can't handle. Woo! Oh, so if that if that's the case, that's then cool. he is making you a stronger individual. Mm. But you don't want to go through the test. Mm. You don't want to go through the trials and tribulations of whatever you're going through. You don't want to go through it. You think that God is going to relieve you from those duties. That means you dictate your life. And I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna pray about it. <laughs> hey, hey, take me through the green pass. Yeah, yeah. In the comments, y'all, let us know Come how y'all feel about this. You see my point. You see where the angle I was going in. You see where Mitch is going or whatever. Um, and I'm pretty sure more more people are leaning towards uh Mitch because you know that's what we've been taught. You know, when we grew up and things of that nature and pray about this and you even hear it in the media, you know, say a prayer for this person, say a prayer for this one. My condolences goes to these. I'm going to say a prayer for whatever. Right. Yeah, that happens sure. all the time. Yeah. That all the time. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, let us know how you feel about this and, and you know, let us know in the comments 100%. and. And we'll 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 reach back out, man. Give us yeah. a thumbs up, man, for the algorithm and everything. Mm -hmm. And um guaranteed, man, we'll come back with some bangers and we, we still got them going. I'll tell you, we got them queued up. We got them queued up. Let's we go. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And that's how we do it. And that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey, bye bye. Roger that. Do something and pray for <laughs> me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>